OK, this how to video is going to go through how to use the um, the return path workflow capabilities inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So there's various kind of visions and DRC checks you can enable um, with return path. Uh, but this feature effectively allows you to load simulation results um, or even run simulation results if you have access to something like a, a Sigurty Aurora license or some tokens for Sigurty. Um, and they give you that capability. So if we start off with the, the board file here, I'm just going to go to Analyze and Workflow Manager. Uh, and then in the Workflow Manager, the Analyze Workflows, you can see there's quite a few different uh, options here, but we'll look at the Return Path Workflow. And obviously, if I have capabilities here, um, I have access to a Sigurty license. I can run a simulation myself, create a directed group and do my settings and stuff. But I've got one that my, my SI engineer has already done for me, so I can actually load up and have a look at the results here. So um, there's a load analysis results. So if I go to where my uh, my files are and I've got, uh, let's go and open the simulation. So I can actually look at uh, the tables now. This is the tables. It's been run on these kind of these six, seven nets here. Six nets, sorry. Um, and the key, the thing you're really looking at is this quality factor. Um, as close to one is the best result, obviously, from a return path point of view. Um, but I can actually look at uh, if I change the, the vision here to the vision layer to, to ground, I can physically see um, what's going on in my return path. Um, and the reason I can do that is, and that's only you need to make sure that the, the SI engineer, when he runs this simulation, he runs a simulation here and then he can effectively run a vision on each of the nets and those visions get stored. So where I had my my uh, my files, if I look under the folder here, I've got this kind of this is this is effectively the return path file. And then there's a set of uh, folders. So I'll get a folder under the same name as the folder. And then there's these vision files. And these are the individual vision files that I see. If I don't have that file or that folder structure in those files, I won't be able to see the visions um, inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So if I zoom in here, you can obviously see um, the colorings and you can see the return path, what's going on. It looks like I've got a bit of a split in the plane, a void, probably don't need to do that. But if I look at all of the individual nets, I can pick these one by one. You can see that there's probably a reason why I'm getting some of the figures that I'm getting here. So just for speed, let's just go and open uh, another board. And this this board here hasn't got that void on. Um, so if we turn on the, the layers, you can see the void's not there. So if we then go to the uh, Analyze and Workflow Manager, and this time we will load um, the fixed version. And if we look at our return pass, you can see that the figures here, they're, they're closer to one. Um, so we've actually solved a lot of the issues here. And if I look at the visions again, we'll go to the ground layer. You can see um, a nice red color for my return path on most of these nets or in, on each of these nets, really. So you get a good indication about what's going on. 